students, welcome to class. We are behind the scenes here of a video that's going up and the video today is this one. I am asking, call me Chris and Sniper Wolf, to stop promoting animal abuse. I'm asking them to stop wearing makeup that's tested on animals to start being vegan from now on. We have 154 people waiting who are chatting and we have right now 120,000 subscribers. So thank you everybody for being here today. Let's have a look at the comment section and see what is going on over here. All right, we have Carl who's saying yes. I don't know what you're saying yes to, so I don't know how to respond to that. Somebody's telling me that they're Russian. I don't know what that has to do with the animals. I don't think anything. Be vegan, it's right. Thank you for Thaden for saying that. Um, what else do we have? We have, I'm Kanye West, I doubt that. Uh, be kind, show your compassion, join the animal rights movement. Thank you, Vegan Ave USA 20. Wonderful. Uh, my video format messed up and now I cannot see the chat video. Oh yes, that's happened to me too once. What you have to do is you have to go to somebody else's video and click on normal view and then come back to this one. I know it seems crazy. That's the only way I know how to do it though. It's happened to me before as well. Um... Okay, not sure why you're putting all these faces here. I don't know what you're happy about. Hopefully you're happy about being vegan. I'm eating some oatmeal with raisins and blueberries. It's so good. Well, thank you, JL. Wonderful. Thank you, Joanne. I also eat oatmeal often. Today I had, though, two pieces of toast with peanut butter. With that peanut butter had no added salt or sugar in it. And the bread was actually sprouted bread that you can buy that in the freezer department. So that is the healthiest kinds of bread. And the animal holocaust said oddball the vegan rabbit yeah you should end the animal holocaust because very sad what's going on with the animals it makes me very sad there's no reason to eat animals anymore you can eat other things there's no reason to use animals at all we can be kind we can have a nice beautiful world we don't need to hurt them and we can do that because by just starting with what we put in our shopping carts when we go shopping just put veggies fruits, nuts, and seeds in your shopping cart. Peace begins on your plate, so open up your heart to the animals. That is what you can do. By the way, if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, don't forget that you can do that. I'll show you here. Here's my subscribe button. Doo -doo. Go ahead and subscribe. Do you see the subscribe button? Press that, and do you see what there's a notification bell? After you press the subscribe, look beside it. Do you see it? There's a notification bell, so press that, because when you press that bell, you can be here and help me to spread awareness. Press the notification bell and help me get the animals out of hell. And I want to also say to Sniper Wolf here, and to call me Chris, that they should stop making money by exploiting animals. And what they're doing by that, why I say that, is because they often show videos of people who are cooking and eating animals and animal products, and it is terrible. And they should eat always, every time, they should call it out and they should say, this is not okay. And they should not be vegan phobic, which is to be unkind to animal defenders. It's, you know, you've heard of homophobic where you're mean to people who defend uh, the LGBTQ community. So don't be vegan phobic, don't be homophobic, don't be racist. Remember also that animals are not objects to be used by us. Okay? There's no reason to use them. Both of these individuals can start buying only vegan things, all vegan products. There's no reason why not. Just Google vegan recipes. It's super easy. And if you ever want any kind of groups to go to, there's all kinds of stuff that you can go and see. Um, for example, there's a Facebook groups that you can go and watch. There's a Vegans United and all kinds of things. And by the way, I don't know if you've ever seen this before, but this is uh, very interesting. It was a, sort of a view of what it would be like, what would life be like if everything was in the reverse and the animals were doing this to us. And this is an a artist's uh, depiction of what it would be like if we were in their position. Now, can you imagine that? Imagine if this was us. This is why we call it a holocaust. Can you imagine if that truck was filled with humans, what would you say? You know it's wrong what we do to the animals. It is absolutely horrible. 
There's no reason for this. And I want SS Sniper Wolf and I want Call Me Chris to speak out against this and to say to all of their audience, you know what, guys? That vegan teacher is right. We should all try to be vegan from now on. And you guys can start showing everyone how you're buying vegan products and how you're looking at labels on things. You too should also be telling people not to wear any makeup. And if, if you absolutely feel like you must, make sure it's vegan, not tested on animals and has no animal ingredients in it. Don't wear leather. Don't take somebody's skin. I mean, this is what happens. We would never be okay if they did this to us, so why are we okay with them doing this to the animals? See the machine there? Look at their heads. Absolutely disgusting. This is what they do to the animals. This is what ends up on your plate. In a nice little package at the end, that's what happens. And then they call it Happy Farms. And then everything goes into a truck. And then people buy them. Animals are not food. Animals are sentient beings and we should protect them like we protect all the children of this planet. So again, I encourage you to please be as vegan as possible. And I want these two to lead the way because they have millions of followers. Every time they are reviewing a product, I want you to think to yourself, I wonder if they've checked the ingredients. And if they haven't, write to them in their comment section. Say, hey guys, why don't you promote vegan products? You should say that vegan teacher wouldn't like that. Keep reminding them that they have an ethical, moral responsibility to be as vegan as possible. I want to thank uh, 204 people who are still here, hanging out, chatting. And I'm going to uh, put a couple of comments here myself while you guys have a look at what's going on there. I want to remind everybody that animals are uh, not slaves. Using animals in any way is just wrong. So I'm going to take that comment and I'm going to put that over here. I'm going to copy and paste that. Animals should not be bred into existence just for us to manipulate. Animals are here for themselves and their own communities. They're not here for us. Animals are not food. They are sentient beings. They have a right to live. And just like cats and dogs do. Animals have a right to be free and not behind bars. So eat plants instead. We have moral agency, they don't. And I see I couldn't continue that sentence because it only goes up to 200 characters. You see that at the bottom? So it's kind of hard. That's why I have a lot of these comments pre-cut and pasted and ready to go. Thank you to Rani who is spamming all of this wonderful, delicious looking vegan food. It really helps to brighten things up. When's the last time that you had all of these? Don't forget to eat leafy greens every day, spinach, bok choy or kale. Somebody says animals can't give protein, or did they say they do? Let's see. Animals give, yes, animals do give protein. Uh, well, they do. Animals have protein, but so do plants. So why hurt an animal if you don't have to? Just eat the plants. You can have tofu, peanut butter, oats, rice, pastas. You know, there are so many things that you can have that have protein in them. And protein is never a problem. You know, I worked as a nurse for 25 years and I don't ever, ever remember seeing somebody who is protein deficient. Lots and lots of protein everywhere. All kinds of vegan foods have protein. Why kill cows instead of letting them live their life? Thank you, Vegan Flower123. Vegan Hero writes, start now and be vegan. Great. All right, and again, thank you to Vegan Lily India, who's in perfect uniform here. Beautiful. Love it. Be vegan, make peace, says somebody. That's great. We want to make peace, yes. Um, 
I also want to remind you that if you see animals suffering, it's actually normal to cry. So you shouldn't feel bad. I often cry when I see animals suffering and that's okay. It just means you're human and you have compassion. When we see animals suffering, we should never suppress our tears. It's normal to cry and then to become vegan after we learn what the animals go through. Why pay for murder if you don't have to? So again, uh, Vegan Lily is reminding people to see this uh, documentary here. It's only nine minutes long and it will show people what's going on about animal testing. It's very, very sad. All right, so we've got our countdown here. Uh, we have 152, uh, thousand, uh, uh, sorry, a <laughs> hundred, what am I talking about? One minute and 52 seconds left. I'm oh, sorry, I was trying to press buttons at the same time. Uh, no, the thousand is 120,000 subscribers, 241 people watching. All right, let's listen to this. Thank you to everybody who is here. Thank you to everybody who is spamming beautiful vegan food. Subscribe to this channel, please. I like to put this blossom here. You guys know by now, probably you regulars. And I like to put a little seedling because I think it's cute. It's a cute little seedling. I went over. Oops. Thank you to everybody who's here. Thank you everybody who's trying to be as vegan as possible. I really do appreciate that. Thank you to everybody who is writing things in the comment section, educating people. Thank you for choosing the plant milk, the soy milk instead of the cow's milk. We don't want to take baby boy cows away from their mothers and turn them into veal sandwiches. Come on, you guys are nicer than that, right? Let's put some subscribe here. Don't forget to press the notification bell as well, everyone. That way you can be here and you can comment in the uh, comment section. So we have uh, 359 people watching now. It's October 2nd, by the way. And you guys can watch this video later. The purpose of this video right now that I am showing you is to talk about the comments that you're making, but let's watch there a bit. There are two YouTubers out here who constantly wear makeup and talk about their makeup and put absolutely tons of it on them. One of them's name is Call Me Chris, the other one is SS Sniper Wolf. Both of them should stop wearing all makeup because they are basically promoting animal cruelty because nearly all makeup is tested on animals, like this poor little bunny rabbit. We're going to be watching a four minute video and I'm gonna show you why you should stop wearing makeup Ready? We're rolling. Okay, Ralph, can you mark it, please? You want me to click it now? Yep, go for it. Go on. Like that? Brilliant. Oh, it's like in the movies. Alrighty, so, um, my name's Ralph. Um, I'm a rabbit, as you can see. I'm blind in my right eye, and uh, this ear. Can't hear nothing but ringing now. shaved and got chemical burns up and down my back. Rabbits that are being tested on have their fur shaved and they're burned on their backs. Different products. It kind of stings, eh? But it's not a big deal. I mean, it only really hurts when I like breathe or move around or whatever. They're in consistent pain. Ah, yeah. Ow. Yeah, that hurts. But uh, at the end of the day, I mean, it's okay. We do it for the humans, right? They're far superior to us animals. They've even been to space. That doesn't matter. Humans are not more superior to you. They're in the process of murdering their own mother, planet Earth. Humans are despicable. They are a cancer, a virus on this planet. Have you ever seen a rabbit in a rocket ship? No, I don't think so. Point is, I'm not a space bunny. I'm a tester. 
My daddy was a tester, my mum, my brothers, my sisters, my kids, all testers, and they all died doing their job. His whole family died being tested on. Just like, like I will. Just like I will. He used to have children in that house, and now he doesn't. How sad. That's okay. Testing is what we were born to do. Uh, no, you weren't born to test. You were born to be a rabbit in a field out, out somewhere. With the sun on your cheek. With your family. You are not born to be a slave for us humans. It makes us rabbits happy. Yeah. I'm gonna get to work. Now I know it looks bad, but the way I see it, I'm doing my job. If just one human can have the illusion of a safer lipstick or deodorant or... Uh... Hey, Ralphie! Psst. Ralphie! What's with the camera crew, bro? Oh, um, they're just following me around, making a documentary or something. <gasps> can you ask them to get us out of here? Yeah. Tell my mom I love her. I don't want to die. Hi, man. Hey, Ralph. Okay, Ralph. Ralph. okay, I hear you. You can, uh, you can edit that out, right? Oh, uh, here we go. He says you can edit that out. This poor little rabbit is so indoctrinated, so brainwashed that he thinks it's his job to be a slave to humans. Hey, hey, don't touch uh, him! Uh, 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 oh, shit. Uh, so, uh, so in closing, I'd, um, I'd just like to say that... Uh, sorry, Ralph. Uh, We're over here. Can you, can you turn around? Oh, sorry. <laughs> He can't see. That's all right. Um, is this better? Yeah. Yeah. Carry on, mate. Okay, so, yeah. I'd just like to say to everyone out there still buying animal-tested cosmetics, like eyeliner, shampoo, sunscreen, print. Eyeliner, shampoo, sunscreen. Let's see what else you guys are saying here. Thank you to Vegan Carl USA who's in uniform and saying poor animals. Yes, it's very, very sad. Thank you for this sad emoticon here that reminds me that humans are here in this channel and who care. Vegan Listy Canada 8, animals should be respected. Thank you. Vegan milk, soy milk, oat milk. Those are all the things you can buy and stop animal testing. Thank you. End the animal holocaust. Abolish animal slavery. Thank you. Vegan hex. Rabbits and other animals experience this in real life. Please don't allow this to continue. Stop animal testing. Thank you for being great moderators here. And this person here says it's so sad what they do to animals. Yes, it is. Thank you for having a caring heart. Why love one but eat the other, says the vegan hero. You're right. And somebody says here, for real, a real vegan keeps their thought to themselves. No, real vegans speak out on behalf of the most innocent and abused animals on the planet. So sad. Thank you, I'm Gamer, who says we need more vegans like you. Thank you for saying that. You should tell the lion to go vegan. No, they don't have moral agency. They can't decide like we do. We have a choice. We have stores nearby. Vegan teacher is dirt made from dead animals. Will animals die and they decompose into the earth? 
What else have we got here? You don't need makeup. If you think makeup is more important than animal life, you are evil, says Vegan Adam Canada 22. Hmm. Let's see if we make this person a moderator, if they can be a real moderator or if they're phony. Let's see. Well, I love one but eat the other, says Vegan Hero. Yeah. And somebody says, I'm crazy. I'm crazy, apparently, for defending the most innocent beings on earth. Well, call me crazy then. Yes, we all need to be vegan. Thank you, M Gamer. Uh, vegan Leah from Barcelona says, poor animals. Right, I agree. And the animal holocaust. Animals are not food, they're sentient beings. They're not our slaves. Don't eat chickens, cows, pigs, turkeys, fish, or lambs. Animals have a right to their body integrity. They don't belong to us. We have no right to take them from their homes. When will our world change? When you do. So go vegan. If you're not vegan, you're actually an animal abuser. Don't forget that. It's as simple as that. There's just no in between. You must be vegan from now on if you want to call yourself a good person. Caring for murder is evil. It's saying it's the food chain is a bad argument. It's no different than being in a domestic relationship where you are abusing somebody. It's arguing that it's okay to beat your wife because men have evolved to be stronger than women. That doesn't make any sense. Thank you to the 500 people who are stayed here and are still watching. Please subscribe to this channel. Press the notification bell. Help me to get these animals out of hell. Thank you to everyone who is here, these great animal rights activists, these defenders who care so deeply about the animals. Thank you to everyone in blue who is wearing a perfect uniform. Thank you, Vegan Hex. Except for this one is saying, pop off Miss Katie. So bye-bye to you. You turned out to be a fake. So no thank you to you. Uh, hide user from this channel. Thank you to everybody else who is kind to the animals. Thank you so much to Vegan Stetson. Remember also that animal defenders who want to be mods could send me a video of them from Instagram. I appreciate you guys sending me videos to show me that you are serious. And uh, vegans teach here, there's no job more honorable than to help the most vulnerable of our society. By teaching here, you make the world a better place for everyone, the animals, humans, and the earth. Thank you. All right, also a reminder that all doctors, psychologists, vets, nurses, teachers, lawyers, judges, parents, grandparents should be as vegan as, a, as vegan as possible. Vegan is a moral baseline. We must teach the younger generation to be kind, to have empathy. All right, anyone who lies and says ridiculous things like plants feel pain needs to go back to biology class. We have zero tolerance for bullshit. We are here to learn and not to make excuses. That's what we're here for on That Vegan Teacher's channel. Yeah. And remember, by the way, if anyone ever calls you a vegan donut, which Gordon Ramsay tried to do to make fun of me, I don't think of that as an insult at all because vegan donuts are sweet, delicious, and everyone loves them. So go ahead and call me a vegan donut anytime you want to. But remember also, don't be prejudiced, don't discriminate, ban cruelty, not words. Don't be racist or vegan phobic. This is important because we need to have proper communicating with each other. We shouldn't just be banning words. Here's another one of the signs that I often hold up. And there are three reasons to be vegan. For the animals, the environment, and human health. And if you want to go to look at some recipes, you can go to Bosch.tv. All right. So we also want to ra end racism, homophobia, vegan phobia, ageism, and ableism. So most people know about racism and homophobia, ageism and ableism, but vegan phobia is also a thing. Don't be cruel to vegan animal activists. And I know a lot of people hate to hear this, but this is the truth. If you're not vegan, you're an animal abuser. It's as simple as that. You're paying for it every time you buy something. So thanks again to everybody who's here. A little reminder, cow's milk is for baby cows. Isn't that a cute mug? So you're not a baby cow. So drink soy milk or oat milk or any kind of plant milk. 
Thank you so much for being here, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe. Press the notification bell. Help me get these animals out of hell.